Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. 3x squared plus 2 to the power of 2 equals 16. Now, the first thing is to remove the square. And we do that by squaring, I mean by taking the square root of both sides. So we have square root of 3x squared plus 2 to the power of 2. And on the right, we have positive or negative square root of 16. Okay, so that this and this can go. Remember the square root inside is not affected. So we have 3x squared now plus 2 to be equal to plus or minus square root of 16. What should I do from here? 16 here is a perfect square. Okay, so 3x squared plus 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. So it means that we are going to make use of positive 4 and negative 4, right? So 3x to the power of 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Or 3x squared plus 2 is equal to negative uh, 4. So here we have the two equations we have to deal with. So if you're going to deal with this, we have 3x squared plus 2 equals... 4, right? Now, 3x squared plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 4 minus 2. What I have done is to, you know, take the additive inverse of, um, of 2 and add to both sides. The additive inverse of 2 is minus 2, so it has to reflect, and then, and then it has to reflect on the right-hand side. So that 3x squared this will go with this is equal to 2 4 minus 2 so divide this by 3 divide by 3 this and this can cancel so that x squared is equal to 2 over 3 you cannot stop here because we're not looking for the value of x squared right we're looking for the value of x so we take the square root of both sides again, like I said before, but then on the right, it's always positive or negative. Square root of 2 over 3. Now, this is going with this again, so that x is equal to square root, positive or negative, square root of 2 over 3, meaning that our x is equal to square root of 2 over 3, or negative square root of 2 over 3. We are not there yet because we left out one of the equations, which is 3, okay, let me do it on this side, 3x squared plus 2 equals minus 4, right? Okay, so we have 3x squared plus 2 then we take 2 away so that these 2 will be moved. Then on the right we have minus 4 and then we have minus 2. Now this and this can go so that 3x squared is equal to minus 4 minus 2 and that will give minus 6. Now we can divide this by 3 and divide this by 3. This will go with this. And if it does, we have x to the power of 3, x to the power of 2 rather, and it's equal to negative 2. And that is minus 6 divided by 3. So to do away with the square, we take the square root of x squared, and that will be equal to a positive or negative square root of negative 2. Now this is going to go with this so that x is equal to plus or minus 
square root of negative 2. But mind you, you cannot use your calculator to get the square root of negative 2 because of this negative. So we need to, you know, get out the negative. So our x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 multiplied by square root of negative 1. Now x is um, root 2 is alone. So remember that square root of negative 1 is taken to be i imaginary. So our x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 multiplied by i. But then remember that we can decide to write i first so that it will not appear to be under the square root sign. So x is equal to plus or minus i root 2. Remember, this is 2 in 1 because we have x to be equal to i root 2 or negative i, then we have root 2. So here we have the two solutions. Now let's bring the three solutions, I mean the four solutions together. Let's call the first one our x1, and that is equal to square root of 2 over 3. Then our x2 is from um, here. And that is where we have negative square root of 2 over 3. Then what about our x3? x3 is i root 2. And then our x4 is i, negative i, root 2. So these are the four solutions to the equation but mind you only the the first two solutions this and this are the real solutions these two are complex solutions thank you for watching if you've learned something new subscribe to my channel and um, invite more people to subscribe to my channel if you know that they need um, mathematics Thank you for watching.